Hey, welcome back. Well, you may know him as the realtor from Remax in Starkville, Columbus and West Point, but you may also know Colin Kruger as the guy who has all the good news, it seems like. And thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. You really do. I swear, you tell me about some events from your Facebook half the time, <laughs> so that's always a good thing. But there's a lot of things happening around the area, including a fundraiser. So tell us about that. So Crossroads Ministry, which is an, an awesome uh, ministry, they deal with recovery and helping people out. This guy, Dale McDaniel, had an accident and he, he doesn't have the use of his arms or legs. Okay. So they're doing a fundraiser. It's going to be Saturday from 11 to 1. You can order, they got barbecue plates for $15. They're taking donations. And, uh, you know, if you need any more information on it, you just hit me up or we can, we'll have it up on the screen for All you. All right. Well, perfect. And then there's also some stuff happening in downtown Columbus this weekend on Main Street. So what's, what do we have on Main Street? It's the extravaganza. It sounded like a <laughs> Columbus Main Street and Barbara Bigelow and them do a phenomenal mm -hmm. job. And they always want to be ahead of the game. So Friday and Saturday, they're going to have uh, the Easter Bunny will be out there. Yeah. The Exchange Club's going to have their world famous cheese. I think they're selling that at Friendly City Books. Okay. And then all the stores will have like little eggs hidden out there. Yeah. We, they wanted to be the first in the game to have the eggs out that and is, be ready for Easter. She had and, uh, talked about that, and that is so fun to me. It'd be groovy. Which so. I, I wondered, I asked Miss Barbara the other day, I said, well, are the eggs going to be certain colors, or what do we need to look out for? Um, but then we have, you have a part actually in this, so it's our favorite, everyone knows at least a few lines from the musical Oklahoma. So what can you tell us about the show and about your part? So the Golden Triangle Theater, which has been around for a few years, a nonprofit, and they do theater productions and that sort of stuff, and somehow they tricked me into being <laughs> an Oklahoma the musical. So I've been taking voice lessons. They've got an incredible cast. Like, I've been blown away. It's a lot mm -hmm. of students and grad students from Mississippi State, along with other volunteers from the area. Uh, the show's next weekend, 8th, 9th, and 10th, and on the 10th they have a dinner theater where like, you can go eat and really? enjoy the musings of everyone else except possibly and me. And you told me it's quite a few practices you've had to do. Yeah, it's 25 practices mm -hmm. or so, and now uh, you got to get your voice up and you got to learn a little shaking. And <laughs> if you want to see me dance, or if you want to start a GoFundMe to stop me from <laughs> dancing, uh, both are available. Are you nervous? That's, that's my one question. I am not afraid of being in front of other people. The singing's a little different, okay. but I just want to keep up with my castmates. There's well, some really talented folks. That so. is great to hear. I'm glad like you're trying, like getting out of your yeah, comfort zone. Yeah, getting out of my show. To, that is so neat. Little, so, yeah. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come and see you. <laughs> there you okay, go. so the Growth Alliance in West Point is honoring former educators this week. Tell me what you know about that. So they have a dinner. It's coming up pretty quick. Thursday at the Civic there. Okay. And so what they do is they have like a Hall of Fame where they honor people, and it's all also their annual meeting, so I think they give some people some attaboys. Uh, famous uh, West Point High School coach Chris Chambliss will be there. Yes, sir. And then Professor Andrew Lenoir. I'm saying Lenoir, it's probably Lenoir Sr. In the early 1900s, he's a famous mathematician, like worldwide. Really? And they're going to honor him at that, too. West Point's always doing good stuff. They are. And, okay, so you, now uh -huh. there's another event in Starkville, and we need our walking shoes, correct? You do need so your not walking heels. shoes, not my cowboy So boots, we are too. out for the count today. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, the Starkville Greater Development Partnership is doing Starkville Stride. And what happens is you sign up. They extended the deadline, uh, I think, through today or tomorrow. They got 500 people. You donate $10 and you can win prizes from local businesses along with some cash prizes. And you basically, you count your steps for the next six weeks. So you can get that in there. And I believe every step I take on stage or boot scoot and boogie in Count. counts towards that. So you still get to sign up for well, it. Well, that so. is going to be a lot of steps yeah, that's by the good, end man. of your musical, for sure. And so next week, tell me what we have coming up next week. So next week, we're going to bring up Golden Triangle Theater again. We're going to okay. talk about St. Patrick's Day at Zachary's is coming up. It's a huge party. Uh, the upcoming New Hope Festival, the first annual New Hope yes. Festival. Yes. And then the United Way has got an annual banquet coming up, and there's a whole bunch of stuff. This is a busy time of year. It's a great time to get out and about. Now, I may be wrong on this. With the St. Patrick's, is this when Zachary's does, like, the big event for the animal shelter? Or yes, is this for separate? the Columbus okay. Lands Humane Society. Last year, we raised over $40,000. Oh, my goodness. So goodness. we block off the street. We got green beer. We got live music all day. It's that just an so, amazing event. So. so if anyone sees this and they were, like, working off on all this information, they can go. They can hit me up on Facebook. You can Google me or just Google events or 329-7653 is my cell phone number, but I'm pretty easy to find. So. All right. Well, we've got so much, and you can also go to WCBI.com to get this information, but we have so much more after the break. We hope you stay with us.